Now, now we've come to the most important part. We're going to piece all that together and we're going to make it into the kettlebell swing. So when we do the whole swing all together, starting off with the gorilla position, with the height, touching the forearms in between the inner thigh, when we're down here, notice the upper back isn't rounding out. We can keep it nice and flat, nice and straight like that. So this is a good analogy to think of it as like, the swing is like a ride in your car and your hamstrings are your accelerator and your butt and your abs are your brake. Now when you're going for a drive, you want to make it a nice smooth ride so you're not too heavy, not too light on either one of those so that way you've got a nice smooth swing and a nice smooth ride, so to speak. So what we're going to do, when you come up to the top, you pull your kneecaps up so you squeeze that tight, squeezing your butt tight and your abs, you almost do like a crunch so that's going to be your top position. And just to piece it all together, it's going to look like this. That is what you can do. 